Hello, this is Colin from Gigabyte. Today I have a new utility that I want to show you called Gigabyte LAN Optimizer. Now many of you at home probably have a single internet connection that's shared amongst many devices. So you probably have a PC in your living room, a PC in your bedroom, and maybe some mobile devices like a tablet or a cell phone. Or maybe you just have one PC that shares, uh, that uses many different applications uh, that use the internet connection. Now of course, if you're sharing an internet connection with many devices or many applications, that means sometimes a single application might hog all of your internet bandwidth, and it'll leave limited resources towards your other applications. For example, let's say that you're downloading some movies on BitTorrent. So you're downloading, and at the same time you want to watch a HD YouTube video. Now of course, when you're downloading that BitTorrent, it's going to strangle all of your other applications that are actually wanting to connect to the internet as well. So what Gigabyte has done is we've developed this new utility that actually smartly manages your network bandwidth. And we've come up with a, a pretty unique software solution as well as a hardware solution that actually does this management for you. So what we've done is, on all of our motherboards that feature the Realtek 8111E LAN controller, um, we've developed this special application to take advantage of some, some pretty smart and intelligent network management. So let me show you the actual user interface. So this is the Gigabyte LAN Optimizer user interface. As you can see on the left here, there are several different tabs. The first tab is Mode tab. So basically what Gigabyte's LAN Optimizer does is it takes several common usage scenarios and it adjusts your network settings accordingly. So the first common scenario would be gaming, of course. So online gaming, if you play a lot of online games, you click this mode and hit apply. Now what that does is it'll take small but frequent packets that are often associated with online games and it'll prioritize them. So basically it'll take those packets and send them quicker to the server. Now the next mode is stream mode. So stream mode is a mode you want to use if you're doing a lot of internet uh, streaming. So internet TV, um, you'd want to click stream mode. And what that does is it'll prioritize a more constant and steady package flow generally associated with data streams. The next mode, of course, is browser mode. So you're going to want to click this mode if you're doing YouTube videos or just generally browsing the internet. So browser mode prioritizes short bursts of large packets of information. Um, and then, of course, we also have auto mode. Now, auto mode will intelligently manage your network based on your usage scenarios. So Let's say you're gaming one time, you're watching a YouTube video another time, it'll automatically adjust your settings according to uh, your, your usage. So again, once you click uh, your setting, you just hit apply and it'll automatically configure for you. Now the next tab is for people who want to do some more fine tuning. So this is the program tab. And as you can see here, these are all my different applications that I have uh, loaded that have in the past used my internet connection. These two at the top are actually using my connection right now, but they're not downloading anything. Um, as you can see, I am able to change and adjust the priority levels. So I can make this high, I can make it low, and I can even block applications that I don't want to be using at a certain time. And of course, for each application, it's always convenient to be able to see what your actual download and upload speeds are as well for you each. So you can make those configurations. Obviously I'm still in browser mode, so these settings are configured for browser mode, but I can make any changes I want based on, on my needs. So all I have to do is click save and it will automatically save those changes for me. Now the next tab is advanced tab. Now the first section is shows your internet speed. So you can click this box right here and it will automatically enable your um, uh, detection of what your internet speed is. If you want to manually insert it, you can do that as well for people who actually know what their internet connection speed should be. And then down below here are some more sensitive settings. You've got delay and sensitivity. So if you want to speed up your response time, you can enable or disable, as well as your TCP delay. So enable or disable. All you have to do is once you make those settings, hit apply, and it'll automatically do that for you. You can also reset to default settings. Now the last tab is your system info. So this basically just shows you your system uh, 
CPU, uh, network card, memory, etc, etc. So this is basically the user interface. Now let's see a real-world situation where you're actually using multiple applications for that one single internet connection. So now I want to be able to show a common real-world example of using multiple applications on a single internet connection. So what I've done is I've turned off Gigabyte LAN Optimizer and I've started a uh, BitTorrent application. So basically I'm downloading a bunch of files here and as you can see it's actually eating up a lot of my network bandwidth. So of course in a common uh, situation you don't want to sit here and wait for all of these files to, to finish downloading. You want to do other things. So let's say I want to watch a YouTube HD video. So I'm going to open up YouTube. I'm going to uh, click on 720p and we're going to see how it plays. So of course now all of that bandwidth, or a majority of the bandwidth, is being taken by the, the BitTorrent application. As you can see, it takes a long time to load this content on YouTube. Um, and now finally the video has started to play. But of course, it's very choppy. It's got to stop and it's going to load the content because it's not getting enough bandwidth to actually watch the video or stream the video. So now what I want to do is I want to show, first of all, let me get out of here. I'm going to clear the internet browsing history so it'll clear my cookies and cache. And now I'm going to open up Gigabyte LAN Optimizer. So here we have, I'm going to leave it in auto mode. I'm going to apply auto mode. And I'm going to just take a look here. So as you can see, here's our BitTorrent connection. Um, and now I'm going to open up uh, again the video and we'll see what happens. So here's the YouTube video. We're going to change it again to 720p. And of course it's going to take a little bit. And there you go. So now, already you can notice that it's much smoother than it was uh, the first time around. So what Gigabyte LAN Optimizer is doing is, it's actually giving this YouTube stream priority over the BitTorrent. So it's actually going to throttle the BitTorrent download speed. So again, this is intelligently noticing, okay, let's give priority to this uh, YouTube stream. Um, so as you can see, there's no delay, no lag at all. So that's just one common example that you might run into for a common internet usage scenario. Now of course at home you're going to run into some other issues as well. Let's say you want to stream internet TV or you want to play a game. Now Gigabyte's LAN Optimizer will take care of all of that network management for you so you don't have to worry about it. So if you have a limited internet connection and you're running multiple applications or you have many PCs connected to the same internet connection, Gigabyte LAN Optimizer will smartly allocate that network bandwidth. Now, as I said earlier, Gigabyte has put this on, uh, or has tuned this for several of our motherboards. All of our motherboards that feature the Realtek 8111E uh, LAN controller. So this is on a lot of our motherboards, in fact, a majority of our boards. So basically, you can go to our website, you can download the utility for free and start using Gigabyte LAN Optimizer. 